Hi! In this video, we're going to learn how to use the new Camtasia to make your social media content more engaging. One popular type of content used in social media is overlaying a block of text on top of an inspirational still image. It looks something like this. I'm sure you've seen this before. The great thing about this type of content is that it gets right to the point and also has pleasing imagery to help your message stand out. However, there's one problem. It's very static. If you look at this picture, there's no motion to help draw people's attention to it among the sea of content it's competing against. We can do better using Camtasia and a special type of content called cinemagraphs. If you haven't heard of cinemagraphs before, the concept is pretty simple, but also powerful when done right. Essentially, a cinemagraph is a short video clip that loops seamlessly on the first and last frame, allowing the video to repeat indefinitely. We're going to exploit that fact to help bring our social media content to life. To start, we need to find a cinemagraph that matches the static content we're trying to improve. Now, cinemagraphs are actually fairly complicated to make, but fortunately, there's a big world of content out there and some extremely talented artists that make this content available. Just for example purposes, we'll use this one. Okay, so we've saved our cinemagraph clip. Now we need to bring it into Camtasia. Import it to the media bin, and then drop it to the timeline below. Now, you'll see that this particular clip is very short, just under one second in length. That'd be pretty hard to read our message in that amount of time, but here's where the magic of cinemagraphs comes into play. What we're going to do is just take that clip, copy it, and then paste it a number of times. Ten seconds should be long enough for the viewer to read, so we'll just copy and paste it ten times. Okay, that looks good. Now, we need our message, which we'll borrow from the example we saw originally. We'll make a new text annotation, and then position it in the center of our canvas. Let's see what that looks like. Alright, not bad. We definitely have some more motion. But I think we can do better, because that text is still really static. Fortunately, in the new Camtasia, there's a feature called Behaviors, which basically lets you animate text and other objects really quickly. I think the Fade behavior might work well here, so we'll grab it, drop it onto the text on the timeline, and we're good to go. Now, as we scrub through the timeline, you can see the text fading right into the frame. Let's produce this out and see what it looks like. And there we go. So now we have this really dynamic, engaging clip that we can share right on Facebook, Twitter, or any other social channel. And the best part is that it took less than five minutes to create. Hopefully that was helpful for you. And if so, please like and share the video and especially share any examples that you make in the comments below.